Hey everyone, welcome to this video where we're gonna be talking about free SEO tools. Now this is something that a lot of people ask me, how much money do you spend on tools, which tools do you pay for, and why do you pay for them? I wanna take this opportunity to actually explain to people that you don't really necessarily have to pay for any tools. A lot of what Ahrefs does is actually on their free SEO tool page. The reason they do that obviously is to get clicks, to help improve their SEO, and to eventually get people to pay for their tool. But we can use it to do a number of things that most people think is behind a paywall. So if you actually look, they have a keyword generator, an Amazon keyword tool, a keyword difficulty checker, a YouTube keyword tool, a backlink checker, a broken link checker, which is really, really good, uh, website traffic checker. So this is a particularly good one that most people think is only available if you pay for Ahrefs. So we'll start with the website traffic checker, but there are other ones as well. The SERP checker is particularly useful as well. This is something that most people have no idea how to do. But let's just talk about a few of these today. So I'll just open these three for the start. So we'll start with the website traffic checker. If you don't know, this is a really good and quick way to kind of have a guess at how a website's doing. Now, most people use this on Ahrefs as well to see a competitor's top ranking keywords. You can do that as well. So let's say I am starting a new competitor for two men. We'll just use two men as an example just because I know a lot about the website. I made the website. So you can see it's checking the traffic of two men and you can actually see a lot, not everything, but a lot of what is normally behind a paywall. So we can see, for example, that United States, 17% of traffic, Germany, 13%. This country, which I don't read out on YouTube, uh, is 11%. Um, Mexico, 10%, and Spain, 8%. So just from this, you would be able to determine that most likely, two men is using some kind of translator. You can see uh, they're probably using German, this and Spanish. So already you can start to see some very interesting things. You can see that our top keyword is just the keyword expensive jeans. And you can start to get some idea of a website, um, a kind of like the base level strength of a website. That's saying, that sounds weird to say that when not talking about RuneScape, but the base kind of power of a website is very, very quick to see here. Um, so yeah, another really good thing, and this is probably the best part, is you can actually see the top articles or the top pages for that website. This is something that you can't really do with Google Ads Keyword Planner. You can't really do that with anything. I mean, you can go on their website and guess, but Ahrefs, the reason Ahrefs is so expensive is because it does this. Now you can only see the top pages here. You can't see everything. You can just see the one, two, three, four, five top pages but being able to see the five top pages for as many websites as you want for free is significantly better than obviously not being able to see them. So this is something I only discovered recently. I thought that you, you, you had to pay for Ahrefs to get this information, but you actually don't. So let's move on to the second completely free SEO tool that Ahrefs provides, which is the SERP checker or the SERP checker. This is such an important tool for SEO because you need to see where your keywords are ranking, but you cannot trust Google. The reason you can't trust Google is they will show you local results. So if you're in Ireland and you need to see American search results, you need a tool like this. Now you can use a VPN, but it's complicated, or you can literally just go to ahrefs.com slash SERP checker and search the keyword that you want to know. So we'll search expensive jeans right here and we'll see the top ranking websites for expensive jeans. So you can see it goes almost incredibly, don't ask me how, it goes Forbes, two men. I don't know how, but it does. Name and Marcus, Reddit, YouTube, Harrods, Cura, Ranker.com, Reddit again, and Cura again. I do not know how, okay, but somehow, Two Men is second in the United States for expensive jeans with a DR of 16. This is why I say that DR is complete 
okay, I'm supposed to not swear, and I accidentally swore and didn't say the bull part. That was kind of stupid. It's complete bull, guys. Like you can see here, DR94, DR81, Reddit has a DR of basically 100, and then Two Men has a DR of 16. If I had listened to Ahrefs and I had done this keyword research and I saw expensive jeans, let's just actually have a quick look. So if you go back on here and we go on um, keyword difficulty, keyword difficulty checker, and we type expensive jeans, right? So this is kind of the problem that I'm talking about with these tools. Expensive jeans, it's, it's not gonna give a low KD, I don't think. Oh, it does. That's actually very, very interesting. Oh, so it's actually right. Yeah, we estimate that you'll need follow backlinks from four websites to rank in the top 10 for this keyword. So yeah, actually, to be fair to them, that is correct. So yeah, they, 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 they've done a pretty good job there. But sometimes these tools, they'll say that a keyword is difficult and it's actually not that difficult. So just bear that in mind. Most people would say expensive jeans is a difficult keyword. I guarantee after this video goes out, there's gonna be another 10,000 articles about expensive jeans. So yeah, well, I'll see you on the SERP guys. Uh, and then the final one is the keyword generator. This is personally a tool that I've been using for two to three years um, before I had a paid Ahrefs subscription. Um, what can we do with this one? So if we just type in jeans, for example, what we can do is we can start to actually look for some interesting keywords. So you can just kind of scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. A lot of these are not very useful. I'm gonna explain why right now. So what this does is it shows in order of volume, okay, any keyword that has the word jeans in, okay? So apparently the most searched keyword in the world, which I do not believe, is purple jeans. There's no way that's searched that much. Um, but what we can actually do is, first of all, we can press questions, okay, which gives us some actual keywords. So how to sh shrink jeans, how to stretch out jeans, what are jeans made of, these are all perfectly fine keywords, but what's actually better is adding another word to this keyword. So for example, jeans four. All I've done is add the word four, and you'll see that we now have jeans for women, jeans for men, best jeans for men, best jeans for women, skinny jeans for men. So these are all articles you could write. You could write best skinny jeans for men, best jeans for women, best ripped jeans for men, uh, it just depends what you sell, right? Uh, best designer jeans for men. Um, jeans for boys. Cargo jeans for men. So best cargo jeans for men. This is a work jeans for men. Perfect. There we go. That's the blog post that I need to write. Work jeans for men. So if you want to know how to write content, then we will leave a link to a video here or here or wherever it will be in a card. Just click that card. And then all you need to do is put your products and the keyword into uh, Claude or ChatGPT or whatever you prefer to use. Write that content. You will hopefully rank for the keyword work jeans for men. But you'll see me on there because I'm about to suggest this keyword to our team. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out. Hey, you. Subscribe.